Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a tutorial. Uh, my name is Dradnos. This tutorial is going to tell you how to install the Technic Pack. So, um, a lot of you have been asking me, how do you install the Technic Pack? And, uh, the answer changes very little from update to update, although a few little things change between each update, which I'll go over. But generally, all you need to do, fire up your, your, your browser here, go to technicpack.net, and then, so you're, we're at technicpack.net, there's the, uh, the address right up there technicpack.net. My color scheme has been changed to Windows 7 Basic. And you just go ahead and download the launcher. Uh, it's down on the side here. If you don't have a Java runtime environment on your computer, you need one. Uh, and if you're having trouble, try updating your Java runtime environment. Uh, that's what JRE stands for. Uh, otherwise, you can download a .exe, a .jar, or a .osx. The .exe will only work on uh, PCs. The .jar will work on both PCs and probably Macs, I think. And the .osx will only work on Macs. And uh, I'm not sure what you're going to want for your Linux slash Unix compatibility. But if you're, uh, if you're running one of those machines and you need a tutorial like this one, you're probably doing it wrong. Uh, so you download, let's download the launcher.exe, because that's the easiest one to work with. Uh, the .jar works just as well, but it it's, you sometimes requires you to give it uh, a, little bit of, a little bit more work. And it's just downloaded. We run it here. Uh, always ask, for, like, this is just the security warning happens. You'll probably get one like this, too. Just hit run, downloads the launcher, and there you go, Technic Launcher. Everything is, uh, is fine in your launcher here. And you can just select which mod pack you want to play among all the ones they have in Technic. And here's some further stuff that then you can do with this mod pack. First off, you will need to put in your, uh, your username, password, and stuff in order to log in and things. Uh, so if the, and then if you did that, if you hit log in, it'll just connect you up to Minecraft.net. And it'll make sure that you've got Minecraft.jar and everything working. It'll patch it all up for you automatically to work for Technic. Now, here's the deal. You need to have Minecraft.jar. You need to have Minecraft on your computer before this will work. And you need to have a, a legit version, I believe. You need to be able to actually log in to make this work. Um, so if you don't have a legit version of Minecraft, there might be a way around that. I'm not going to tell you. I don't know it. And I, I wouldn't tell you if I did know it. So, sorry. Good luck with that if you're pirating this game. But don't pirate this game. It's, it's, it's worth it. Um, and then you're, there, you see it just loads up all the mods. It installs them automatically. If you're wondering where it's installing them to, can, uh, you can see if you type in your search bar here, parentheses app data, uh, or uh, what's it, uh, percentage app data percentage, it will bring you out here. Uh, most of your Minecraft stuff will go to .minecraft, but everything in Technic will go to .technic launcher. So you can, uh, anything you do with the Technic stuff is basically uh, partitioned off from what you do with your Minecraft stuff. And you could probably delete .minecraft after this, and it would probably not cause any huge problems, I don't know. But uh, basically, if you, cause, if you change things around here, install mods or whatever, that's not going to change anything about how Technic runs. Technic will do just fine, regardless. You see it finishes the first time you have to do a, go through all that stuff, and then it just fires up your Technic. You can do the same thing with any of the mods supported by the Technic mod pack. Um, now, here's the deal. If Minecraft is just updated for you, if, if Minecraft has just gone through an update, it'll take them one or two days before you can install Technic if you've updated your Minecraft already. So basically, here's how it works. If Minecraft is at 1.3, for example, um, and I'm just making up numbers here, if Minecraft's at 1.3, uh, and then suddenly it updates to 1.3.1, and you update your Minecraft to 1.3.1, and then you download this and go through these steps, it's not going to work, because it needs to be able to backdate the Minecraft, and that's something that they have to code into the launcher, and it takes them one or two days usually each time. So, the lesson is, uh, you either wait a few days or you downgrade your Minecraft if you're trying to install right after Minecraft's updated, and you've already updated your Minecraft. That's how it works. Now, uh, a few, a little bit of a rundown here. Um, oops, that's uh, where I used to have my shortcut to. I actually uninstalled Technics to show you guys this. Let me go ahead and unpin that from here and uh, hop over to my downloads computer. Uh, downloads Technic Launcher. Let's move that to the desktop. It doesn't matter where you run it from. It's just like the regular Minecraft thing. You can run it from pretty much anywhere. It'll be fine. Pin it over to my taskbar, and I'll make it so that it doesn't require me to check before running it anymore. And just any time you want to run it, it'll check the launcher version. Fire up like this. Now, if you're having weird problems with this, there's actually forums here on the Technic Pack website, technicpack.net. You just head on over, not FAQ, but uh, forums. And there's a Technic Launcher forum here. You can go through here. You can post a bunch of, a bunch of help. They'll f help you figure everything out. Um, a bunch of, yeah. It's, uh, it's, that's, that's how you can, if you're having trouble, don't ask me. I don't know how to deal with any bugs for this. I don't know, like, I know how to get it right if it'll work right. If it's not working right for you and you've followed these steps properly, Either make sure that you follow the steps properly or check on this forums. Um, 
And yeah, you can run any of the Technic mods with this. You can also run vanilla, but it's worth noting that they also have to, like here, if we want um, manual build selection, they only have 1.1 and 1.2.3 in vanilla right now, and 1.2.5 at the time of this recording has been out for a few weeks. So it's worth noting that it sometimes takes them a few days or even weeks to update their vanilla uh, supported through the Technic launcher. However, you can still always just launch vanilla through your Technic thing here, uh, or not through your vanilla, through your vanilla launcher as usual, and it's unaffected by, by Technic launcher. Um, and then Voxel Mod Pack, Hack Slash Mine, Yogbox, Techit, Technic. Those are the mods packs supported by the Technic Launcher right now. Now, if you're in uh, Technic, for example, and you want to change which mods are active, here's what you do. You fire up your mod, you, you hit the Mod Select button in the launcher before actually launching, and you can just turn any mod you want on and off. So right now, let's see, I want to turn Matmos off, because I hate Matmos. Uh, Millionaire off, because it was causing me trouble. And I believe that's all the mods that I turn off. Yeah. And then it'll, uh, that's all you need it to do. You close out of that window, make sure you've saved it. And now you've selected which mods you're using and which ones you're not using. Other options, um, you can always check, decide which build you're going to use. Manual build selection if you want it to, to be able to look through. So here they have the, this, the first number is the Technic version. Here you can see the newest one is 7.0.0 for 1.2.5. And the right hand side is the, um, is the Minecraft version. And then some are called latest, some are called recommended builds, some are called dev builds. Some are like, you see that one doesn't have Optifine. Uh, right now, 6.0.7 is the recommended build, and it looks like they're preparing to launch a new development build of 7.0.0. However, uh, it is again worth noting that uh, if, if it's not your recommended build and you do it and you keep your old world files or whatever, you might break something, something might explode. It's been known to happen. Um, now, this thing will automatically back up between, there's a setting in game, you can set it. 30 minutes is usually a good idea because otherwise it has big massive lag spikes whenever it does it. Um, I'll switch this back to always use recommended builds. First off, um, you can have it uh, automatically back up your single player worlds every time the mod pack updates. That's a good idea. And you can also adjust how much memory you allocate to your game. So you can see here I can allocate up to 16 gigabytes to it. Now I don't actually have 16 gigabytes of RAM on my computer. Uh, you, it's a good idea to figure out how much RAM your computer has and not allocate all of it. But so for example, this computer that I'm running on right now has 8 gigs of RAM, so I, I usually allocate 4 gigs to Technic. Usually you don't need much more than 2, um, and if, if you're running off less, just reduce some settings and you should be fine. Clear your cache, that just clears, um, that, that, that's basically force update, that's basically the force update button. Hit OK there, and uh, then it'll reload the launcher, when you've, because if you, if you change uh, the amount, sorry, if you hit options, sorry, and change the amount to of memory to allocate, then it'll require you to reload it, because that's a Java setting. That's something just because Minecraft is coded in Java does that, force you to do that. I'm just going to type in my password here, and hit remember, you can always do that. Uh, you can get your tech, your, it, there's no Technic account. Well, there is for the forums, but you don't need it for anything. Uh, this is a Minecraft account, you need your Minecraft account to log in here. And then there's a Technic website, and I believe that's all the stuff you need to know for this uh, launcher. And uh, it'll always have a couple of useful links here, and a nice screenshot of Technic here. So, that's uh, a bit of a tutorial for the Technic launcher. I hope you've learned something today. If you have further questions, stick them in the uh, comments below, and I might make a uh, video response to this in a few days, answering the most frequently asked questions. So, thank you everybody for watching. My name has been Dratnos. Don't read the lies here. Blue Twist is just my, my super secret screen name. It is not, in fact, Dratnos. Well, Dratnos is my name. Dratnos is, Dratnos is the name. Dratnos is, is youtube.com slash Dratnos. Well, that's where you are. But you already know this. You're watching my video. I don't know why I would tell you that. But yes. Thanks, everybody, for watching. My name is Vindratnos. Goodbye. And let me see if I can hit the stop button. Where's the stop button? This would be a good thing to know. Here's the stop button. I'm using Camtasia to record this, by the way. Goodbye!